welcome to my channel. I am super excited about today because I have a thrift haul um, for fall. And fall is my favorite season, so I love shopping for fall and I love seeing what I can find at thrift stores and garage sales and different stuff like that. So, I have so much to show you right now that we're going to go ahead and get started because I feel like this is going to be another long video by me. Okay. So I'm actually going to start with yard sales. So I went a couple of weeks ago to some garage sales in the area and I got a few things for fall. The first thing that I got is this J. Crew sweater and I believe it's going to come off as a bluish color on the camera because this has happened before when I show purple colors. But it's very much purple in real life and it is this oversized J. Crew sweater meant to be oversized. It's a size small, so you can see how big it is, but the sleeves fit perfect. Um, this was 50 cents at a garage sale. And at that same yard sale, I got this sheer blouse from Forever 21. It's just a white blouse. It actually does have a stain on it right here. I haven't washed these clothes yet, so I'm not sure if it's going to come out. But uh, I loved this as a layering piece for the fall to just kind of have something breezy underneath my really chunky cardigans. So for 50 cents, I could not pass that one up. The same yard sale, the woman gave me the Great Gatsby. She didn't want to break my $20 bill. So then we went to another yard sale, and I only found one shirt there. And I really like this shirt because I love the blue and black combination. So I paid a dollar for this. It's from the brand Anna or Anna, whichever you prefer. It's sold at... JC Penny and I love the flowiness and I do not have a, a lot of blouses that are that have this color combination or any color combination for that matter. I really really like solid colored shirts. Last garage sale item, I picked up this incredible one size fits all massive cardigan that I have been looking for something like this for at least two seasons. So, if you guys can see this, it is so big, it hits me at the knees, but it looks so good. Um, I tried it on with an outfit of like all black underneath with um, my booties and then this on top, and it just looked so good, and I'm literally like wrapped up in a blanket all day long when I wear this. So, when it gets a little chillier here in Texas, I will be breaking this out and probably wearing it one too many times. I paid three dollars for this at a garage sale. So now um, I have a couple of things from a local consignment shop that I go to and these items were all free to me. I consign at this consignment shop so I had money in my account and I just used that money towards these three items. So the first item is Adidas shorts, pretty plain, pretty simple. Uh, they were marked down to $2. I don't know if most consignment shops are like this, but for mine here in Texas, uh, once it's been in the store for 60 days or more, they mark it down half off. So these were four, but I got them for two because they had been in the store for 60 days. So then I also got this black flowy tank top. And I really like the top because it has that crocheted material. And it's from the brand Staring at Stars, which is sold at Urban Outfitters, I believe, and this was also $2. It was originally 4 in the store, but it had been there for 60 days. So then the last item that I got is this black high neck dress, but this is from the brand Emma and Sam. It was brand new when I bought it, still had the retail tags on it, and the retailed price was $120, which made me think, what in the world is Emma and Sam? So I looked it up, and it is just a really high-end boutique in Los Angeles. Yeah, I paid $4 for this thing. It was originally 8 in the store for 60 days, so I got it half off. Again, I didn't really pay anything for those this month because I had the credit in my account. Moving on to Kohl's. I know that Kohl's is not a thrift store or, or anything like that, but I have to tell you guys why Kohl's hates me. So... I get these $10 promotional gift cards in the mail, as I'm sure a lot of people do. Uh, this is their marketing strategy. They send it around the holiday seasons and different things like that. So I get these, and I know their intention is for someone to walk in, spend $30 or $40 or more, and then get $10 off their order. It's a good marketing strategy. But I go in there to spend $10. That's my goal every single time. 
because I am so cheap. So let me show you what I got for $10. So the first thing that I got is this tank that says, okay, but first coffee, because this is me in a nutshell, and I feel like it's applicable for me to wear this every single morning of my life. So this was marked down to 80% off. It was $4.80. And the second item that I got at Kohl's is this gray oversized sweater. And I'll show you guys here. Um, so this is from the brand Jennifer Lopez. And it was actually 90% off. So it was $5.40. So I still have the receipt. The price literally came to $10.22. So I paid $0.22 cents for both of those shirts. Yay! So, y'all know I had to go to a family thrift outlet. Because it wouldn't be a thrift haul without me going there. It is my favorite thrift store ever. So, I think I showed in my last video that I went on the $1 day. I have been twice on the $0.50 cents day. So this is a combination of two trips. And... I think total for this entire bag, I spent 10 or $11, like 50 cents for every single item. Guys, it's crazy. I'm going to try to run through this really quick and not like dwell on each item, even though I'm super excited about everything I bought, but it's so much, and I know you guys don't want to watch a super long video, so let's go. First item that I got is this gray and white striped quarter sleeve shirt. And it is from the brand Lily Rose. It is a large, but I like the oversized look. That's kind of, you'll see, is my theme of my wardrobe. I love oversized um, sweaters. So Lily Rose is actually sold at Kohl's. I just, I'm going to keep reiterating that everything I'm getting ready to show you, every single piece was 50 cents. Everything. The next item that I got is this burnt orange Croft and Barrow. It's it's an extra large, and I love the oversized look to this. So the next item that I got is this denim shirt. It is from the brand Bullhead Black, California Trading Company. I don't know where that is sold, uh, but I was really excited about this find because I have been wanting a light denim shirt. I have a dark one, not a light one, so that was good. Then I just picked up this really oversized Tennessee sweater for game day. I'm really excited about this. Because it's vintage, and I'm originally from Tennessee, so I'm a huge Tennessee Volunteers fan. Picked up this Southern Tide t-shirt. Um, if you are from the South, you've probably heard of this brand. But I picked it up for me or my husband, whoever wants to wear it. Uh, I was in very good shape, and these t-shirts are usually pretty expensive. So on the back, it just has their logo that says Southern Tide, the Skipjack. This is from the brand Jennifer Lloyd, and... I really, really liked this shirt. Again, it's a large, but I love the oversized look, and I don't have anything that is this color pink, um, and I'm a sucker for stripes, but I really loved the detail on the arms. I loved the buttons all the way down. So then I picked up this uh, Vans pullover. Pretty simple. I also got just this layering tank, um, just a nude color. Then I got this cropped black sweater. This is my first cropped sweater and I'm really excited about it. Uh, it's from the brand Garage and I love the chunkiness of it and I'm really excited to wear that with my high-waisted jeans. So then I also picked up this white cardigan and this is from Banana Republic and I do not own a white cardigan that's thick like this so I'm really excited about that. So then I got this H&M shirt and I love, love, love this color and my favorite thing about this shirt is it has elbow pads. This is my first clothing item that I own that has elbow pads and I'm really excited that I only paid 50 cents for this and I love H&M clothes so um, I was really excited to find this shirt. I think it's just going to be so pretty in the fall. So then I just picked up this uh, distressed looking sweater. It's from the brand Forever 21. So I also picked up this cream Forever 21 short sleeve shirt. And I really, really like this shirt because it has the slits on the side. I just think it adds a nice little um, surprise to the shirt. So I also picked up this black sheer looking sweater very similar to what I'm wearing right now so this is from the brand Brandy Melville which we all know is a little pricey this is a one-size-fits-all so it's just a really um, flowy black sheer sweater and I'm really excited about this because 
The one that I'm wearing actually developed a hole in it, which is so sad. But this one's very, very similar to it, except for it's just long sleeves. So this is my favorite find from the Thrift Center outlet. Um, it is these beautiful uh, leather shorts originally from Urban Outfitters. I'm telling y'all, the tags are still on them. It's from the brand K&T by Koba and T, available exclusively at Urban Outfitters. It still has the price tag on it. It was originally $139, but whoever bought it got it for $39.99. I bought these because I think these are going to look so good in the fall with leggings underneath and just like a chunky sweater and my booties. And I love wearing shorts like this in the fall and winter with um, like black leggings under the shorts. I just think it's such a cool look. So I am pumped that these are originally from Urban Outfitters and I paid 50 cents for them. Really, really exciting. I can't talk today. One more shirt from the outlet store, and this is just this really cool flannel. Um, I'm always looking for cool, rustic looking flannel um, when I go to thrift stores because it's usually pretty easy to find. This is from the brand Grand Banks Outfitters. So, really, really like this. I think it's going to be a great layering piece in the fall. Guys, two more items. I promise, I know this is such a long video. But these next two items are totally worth it because I have found two really cool purses at the Goodwill over the past month. So I'll show you the first one. It is this beautiful navy and brown mulberry purse. I do not know if this is authentic. I do not know how to check the authenticity of a mulberry purse. But I do love the structure of the purse. It is a little large. It's a messenger bag. But um, my husband and I fly a lot. And... I'm always looking for that perfect travel carry-on bag. This is it. I found it. This was $4.99 at the Goodwill, and I love that it has the handles and the strap, and I'll show you guys very quickly the inside. The inside's in great condition and pretty large, so I can carry a lot on at once. So that's going to be the main purpose of this bag. And I will say this is my one of my favorite finds in my almost 10 years of just absolutely adoring thrifting. So, how gorgeous is this bag? I love this so much. I spotted it. Um, I was in one aisle at the Goodwill, and I spotted it from afar, and I was thinking, oh my gosh, no. I know it's not real, but I have been wanting so bad a black-on-black -black Chanel purse. I paid $5.99 for this at the Goodwill. It has the Chanel uh, logo on the bottom. It zips here. And it has a tassel. I love tassels. And I'll show you the inside quickly. The inside's in great condition. Um, very large. And I know it's not real because the hardware on the purse is actually rusting. Um, so I think it's a little bit of an older purse. But this is going to be my go-to in the fall and winter. I wear so much black that it's just going to go with everything, and I love it so much. All right, guys, that's the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for just sticking around for this very, very, very long thrift haul. And I know you guys love these videos, but um, I wanted to ask, would you guys prefer if I do like a bi-monthly thrift haul so I'm not showing you guys so much at once and I kind of break it up into two thrift hauls um, in the month or would you rather just see all of it at once in just one massive thrift haul um, which would probably be monthly maybe twice a month too because I do thrift a lot. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel for more content coming your way. I do I am working on a couple more videos um, related and themed around fall because fall is wonderful, and I can't wait to show you guys those videos. So please stick around, and I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Bye!